GL450. Doing the front brake. Also the rotor, but we're just doing the front brake on this side, and I'll make a different video for the rotor. Okay, first thing you want to do is remove that clip there. Get you a little pry bar. Press against the hub. What you want to do is get the hooks out of here. Alright, so the best way to do this. Get your pry bar right inside that hole there. Come up. Just watch your face because it's going to come out. And that's out of your way. Now you have two rubber grommets. One goes there, and one goes right there. Take them out. Behind there now. Right in that hole there. There are some nine millimeters. Allen keys. But before you break those loose, just go ahead and pop up your bleeder port and cover your sensor here. Alright, so once you loosen both 7mm, you just want to make sure you push this pin back far enough to give you clearance. Also use a pry bar. Get down in there, push them back. The bottom one as well, so it gives you enough clearance to take off your caliper. Right, once those are pushed back far enough, get your pry bar in here. Slowly work your caliper off, top and bottom, top and bottom, until you get it off. All right. Caliper has been removed. It is a dual piston. So you need to compress it. And remove your brake pads. Compress these at the same time. But if you have the brake caliper tool, you can use that as well. Right, so before you remove your old pad, your sensor just pops out like that. There you go. Old pads out. Alright, so I used two C clamps. Turn them in at the both side at the same time to get both pistons to go in. Alright, so that's your inner pad. Those clips need to go into your pistons. Alright, pistons were compressed. Forgot to tell you guys. Installed my new pad now. We're gonna put our caliper back on. All right, calipers are reinstalled. Tighten back your nines in the rear. All right, now you want to take your clip. Clip goes back in like that. Those hooks go in the hole, and these two sit on the outside. So you got to kind of put it in at an angle. All right, clips reinstall. Now you're gonna put your sensor right there in that pad. All right, so your sensor clips in just like that. Just like that. Just push it down to the pad. You will hear it snap in. And now, the two hooks. It's just going to plug in like so. Put them right in your hole there and push it in. Alright, so now you just route your line back underneath your bleeder port. Pop that cover back on. Put your two caps back in the rear. Push them in. And 
going to show you. You would repeat the same process on the other side. And this is the GO 450 front brake pad replacement. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, hit that like button. See you next time.